Exodia! Obliterate! Hey, what is up guys? The Dragon Duels here, and today for you guys I want to talk about the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! as it stands now. So if you guys don't know, we've been getting a lot of new announcements for new archetypes, new cards, everything like that. Things are getting revitalized. Decks such as Heroes are getting st indirect support like Tree Toad uh, through Bahama Shark and stuff like that. And I think that this uh, current format, not this current format, if not this current format, then it'll be the next format where we get 90% of the cards that they've been announcing it will probably be the most open format that we've seen in a long time because we have so many choices now it'll be Luna Light Blue Cat like Luna Lights are getting Junishishis or Zodiacs as you want to call them to support their whole archetype um, we got Edelons which are basically shadows on crack. Uh, we got spirit lords or spirits, which are basically black wings, but they fusion and ritual summon. Uh, spirals is, of course, the TCG exclusive, so we know it's going to be pretty good. We got ABCs coming out with their really, really overpowered dragon, you know, fusion. And that's pr pretty much guaranteed meta, definitely, along with the gadgets. We got Christerons. Um, we got Shirinui's getting new synchros. They just got this synchro release on Def Pro today. Um, we got Predator Plants coming out soon with their pretty overpowered fusion monster, if I do say so myself. And then we currently still have Blue Eyes that is meta right now. We got DDDs coming out with their structure deck pretty soon here. And then we got Ancient Gears coming back from the dead pretty much with their 4500 beater right here. And it's unaffected by spell and traps. So, really, if not this format, the next format will be a very, very open meta, I'd say. This is just a prediction, but I'd say it'll be pretty open because we're gonna be more exposed to newer archetypes and we're not gonna be restricted like uh, well last format was pretty open but we were down to like kind of a monarchy and kind of a monarch format and a, a burning abyss format you know stuff like that but now that the now that that is hit and stuff uh, is even things are coming off the ban list like Gold Sark. That came off the ban list at 3, which helps Shiranui's greatly because they do need to banish and stuff like that. With new cards revitalizing some of the older archetypes, such as Magicians, they're getting new support, like Dark Magician and stuff like that. The next meta is going to be pretty insane. I hope um abcs are definitely going to be meta i think we all know that by now and i'm pretty sure heroes will be too as soon as tree toad or totally awesome comes out as some people like to call it by its tcg name so overall i do think that the next meta is going to be really interesting to see i'm really interested to see how people will build around these new archetypes and how they'll do what uh in tournaments and things of that nature so yeah let me know what you guys think of the next format uh or this format down in the comments below what do you guys think of the new archetypes that have been announced so far and what do you guys think we have in store for us in the future yeah be sure to like the video if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'm signing out peace